This particular presentation relates to the construction products regulation and the general level of misunderstanding and confusion surrounding the testing methods employed to classify cables. IEC 60332-1-2 is the base test method used for flame spread for both ECA and DCA cables, but now with a strict upper limit for both being 425mm. This is where it ends for ECA. There are no requirements to test for acid gases or smoke, which some mistakenly believe is part of the IEC test. Both are needed for a cable to be described as LSOH or low smoke zero halogen. On the other hand, for the DCA classification, we must also carry out the BSEN 5399 and BSEN 60754-2 tests. These go much further than the previous bundled cable test that was employed for the non-discriminatory IEC 60332-3 series, which by the way only ever had recommendations for flame spread limits and employed a 10 kW flame. We now apply a 20.5 kW flame to the test sample for a duration of 20 minutes, during which time we measure the following four parameters using BSEN 5399 total heat release, total smoke production, peak smoke production rate and flaming droplets. Acid gases are measured using the separate BSEN 60754-2 test. In conclusion, it could be argued that installing an ECA class cable is really a step backwards if you cannot validate that the smoke and acid gas testing has been carried out separately. Therefore, it makes total sense to use a DCA cable rather than an ECA cable if it comes without a premium, for that additional peace of mind.